Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, so I'm going to speak today about uh, sea turtles of the Maldives, um, <coughs> the specific threats that they face here in this country, the conservation efforts that are going on to help them, and then I'm going to talk a bit about the photo monitoring program, which I've been helping to run for the last few years. So I'll just go through the biology and the life cycle of the different types of turtles we find here in the Maldives. Uh, we have five types of turtles, uh, the threats globally and nationally, uh, some conservation methods happening. And then also I want to talk a bit about community-based ecotourism, specifically for turtles. So turtles are marine reptiles. This means they have scaly skin, like all reptiles, and they're cold-blooded. They breathe air from the surface, but they can hold their breath for a few hours when they're sleeping, and generally about 20 to 30 minutes on a normal dive. And here in the Maldives, they only return to land, the females to lay their eggs. So elsewhere in the world, you may see sea turtles on a beach basking to warm up. Because they're cold-blooded, if they're in cold water, their metabolism slows down, their bodies are a bit cooler. So they come onto land, they lay in the sun, and this allows them to warm up a little bit. But here in the Maldives, we have nice warm water, so the females only come onto land in order to nest. All turtles take decades, between 10 and 50 years, to reach sexual maturity. So the age depends on their species, where in the world they are. So here in the Indo-Pacific, for example, uh, hawksbill turtles generally take around 30 years to mature, whereas they mature at a younger age in the Caribbean and the Atlantic. And it's also to do with the diet, so the quantity and the quality of food that they're eating. So if they're eating a lot of good quality food, they can mature sooner. All turtles are listed as either endangered or vulnerable on the IUCN red list. Uh, so this list tells uh, which species are in danger of becoming extinct or populations declining drastically in the near future. So the life cycle of a turtle, as I mentioned, they become mature generally between 20, 30, 40 years. And they make long migrations between their feeding grounds and their nesting grounds. So they may be feeding here in the Maldives, but they may be ne nesting in Sri Lanka and in India or elsewhere in the world. So they may migrate thousands of kilometers between their feeding and their nesting areas. And generally, they do this every two years or so. So the adults breed in the water. The males return to the feeding grounds, and the females go onto the nesting beaches to lay their eggs. And all turtles return to the same beach on which they were born. So if they were born over in India, but they end up feeding over here in the Maldives, they'll migrate all the way back over there to the very same beach to lay their own eggs. So they're able to find their way, they th we think, um, based on the magnetic field of the Earth. So they navigate using that. The female generally lays around 100, 150 eggs. She covers them up, and she may lay a few nests per season, and then she goes back to her feeding ground. So she will never see her babies. She does not help care for them or help them hatch. Most turtles take around two months to develop the eggs, and they make their way up to the surface together. So they cooperate together. And they usually emerge at night, because this is the safest time. Once turtles hatch, they run down the beach um, into the open ocean. And this is how they imprint their nesting beaches in their memories. They spend usually the first 5 to 20 years in the open ocean, usually floating in mats of seaweed or seagrass for shelter and for food. And once they reach around 20 to 30 centimeters or so, they uh, come closer to shore, to reefs, onto their feeding grounds. 